Very foreign interests embedded in F.I. Re, the Manosphere, and local GOP. Did you notice all the Bernie brothers in the fire space in 2016? Have you ever read the guest list for FinCon? The people most opposed to you becoming F.I. are represented. Do you ever notice the inconsistencies in the Manosphere? Hey, look at me, I'm fully transparent, Grifter says, when he's not. But some of the guys demand total transparency from other authors and vloggers. Transparency gets taken way too far. After the elites found out there was a movement to help people become F, grifters and agents of disruption were dispatched. The Bernie brothers in the fire space demand there be no political discussion. Of course, the elites don't want people finding out about their wealth confiscation plans. Conspiracy theories are also verboten. Research the backgrounds of several fire gurus. A conspiracy theorist would have a field day with some of them. When globalist feminist elites found out there was media designed for men designed to reconnect men with the wisdom of their ancestors, again, agents of disruption and grifters were dispatched. It's amazing how the globalist feminist elites managed to keep the pressure on the two groups. Local Republican parties and the boosters of the Republican Party, the churches help in minimizing damage these two groups and the likes of info wars try to cause. There's a lot of judgment from the non-judgmental leftist elite and their local volunteers. Yours truly has been kicked out of almost every state vent room the cuckservatives have made. There are ten other organizations that are excellent for individuals and their families that are being and have been subverted. In 2022, religious cuckservatives announced their intention to water down the bowtie jungle's tea in a spaces chat. Of course, the Let's Get Ready to Get Ready Fox News and Conservative Inc. AstroTurf doesn't report on subversive activity by the other side. Shocker. Seriously, Fox has been this way since inception. Normies subordinate themselves to the globalist feminist elite because they love roads. They also love the countless wars and gaslighting provided in the name of Israel, China, and the Federal Reserve. Why does it seem like the Republican Party can't get it together? Is it a plan? So what to do? First, avoid gurus who put your mind to sleep and tell you to trust the globalist feminist elite who think for you. Think for yourself and conduct due diligence. Look at claims and pitches through an objective lens. Don't ignore red flags. Specifically, we should ignore faux conservatives and faux libertarians who say, Atlas Shrugged, the Leadership Institute, and a documentary called Endgame don't matter or are bad. My parents cried when I asked them to watch Endgame. They went to a globalist feminist church and they hated fellow Republicans who took any sort of stand. If you'd like to escape being a cog in a wheel for $1.30 an hour, why would you volunteer for the elites for free? If you believe one firm or candidate is evil, maybe try out or start the competition. Expect the legacy media and even conservative ink and local churches to direct hate, to raise suspicion and hurl insults at people who dare to think for themselves, and even post memes about the Federal Reserve. Again, most of your state and local Republican parties are anti-fire, anti-manosphere, and pro-Federal Reserve, and will serve Israel and China for life for free. Press local cuckservatives about why they de-platform and censor locals. Ask about the gaslighting of candidates and activists on Christian radio and cuck radio. Bet you won't do it. Teacher says it's a whole new ball game. It's not. But it's easier for the house if you believe things have suddenly changed for the better.